Hello, and welcome to our series on Linux Academy and Cloud Assessment student interviews. Today, I'm very lucky to have with me Mark Lewis, who has passed all eight AWS certifications, and he's currently a cloud solutions architect and engineer, and I'm really excited that he has decided to join us today. So I'm your host for today. I'm Thomas Hazlitt. I am the head of AWS content at Linux Academy. And first, let me say thank you very much for joining us, Mark. I really appreciate you being here. No, not at all. It's a pleasure. So we reached out to you um, because you have done something that only probably a very small handful of people have done, and that has passed all eight AWS certifications. So that's I mean, it's a real accomplishment. Um, I'm not even close to eight. Uh, you know, and you, you've gone through and you've passed all eight. And so today I really want to kind of talk about your journey to achieve that and, um, you know, kind of the process that you went through, the tips, the tools that you, that you used. Um, I guess the first question I have is how did you really start out on the path using AWS and deciding to go get, say, your first certification? And by the way, what was your, your, the first certi certification that you got? Yeah, probably unsurprisingly, it was the Solutions Architect Associate. Okay. So that was, I don't know, just uh, probably just over a year ago. It's not that long ago, actually. Wow. So all eight, so, all eight in about a year. And uh, so yeah, what, what kind just of, over a year. what kind of caused you to, to um, or what prompted you to go and get the certification? What was your kind of like interest in, in AWS or was it work related? Yeah, it was definitely work related. I mean, I've been working on and off with AWS and the public cloud in general for probably about four years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, previously I worked as a, you know, a, a general uh, uh, infrastructure architect and network architect. And mm -hmm. I think uh, I could see the way the industry was moving, um, just probably like a lot of the other students of Linux Academy. And uh, that prompted me to, uh, uh, you know, begin the journey of uh, getting all of the uh, certifications. Wow. So now when you when you sat down and you took so about a year ago, a little over a year ago, when you started to study for the first one, did you say to yourself, I want to get all yeah. eight? Oh, you did. So that was just totally from the onset. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so actually, at that time, I think there were only the specialty exams didn't exist. Okay, yeah. At that time, nor did the practitioner. So um, yeah, I, I, I did aim for the all five at at okay. that stage. I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll go for all five. Um, I didn't know if I was going to achieve it, but, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> that was my, uh, that was my goal. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, that's, that's still a pretty big goal, uh, even to get, get the original five and, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now they just keep adding them and, you know, um, so yeah. And that, that's, you know, that, that's really kind of cool. And then, so when they added the, uh, the specialties, you're like, okay, now I just have to go get those. Yeah. I kind of, I, I don't know how far I was through the original five, I think um, it had probably got to two or three and mm -hmm. uh, AWS introduced the, the specialty. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll go for those. Um, but I was focused on the five. And then once I got to the five, you know, I'd kind of built up some momentum. Right. Um, and I just all, thought, all that AWS knowledge is in your head. You're like, okay, let's just <laughs> yes. keep, keep pa packing it in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's so much commonality between between the exams. So, um, you know, even if you're taking, for example, the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty, mm -hmm. um, a lot of what you've learned on the way to get there, if you take them in the same order that I took them, um, that'll stand you in very good stead for taking so um, what, uh, what was the order that, that you that you took them in? So we know we started out with Solutions Architect, and what did you do from there? Yeah, so it was, uh, so I'm trying to remember, actually, but it was, yeah, it was Solutions Architect Associate, then Solutions Architect Professional. Then I think I did the SysOps mm -hmm. uh, Associate and the Developer Associate, uh, DevOps Professional, and then it was the Big Data Specialty. Okay advanced networking specialty and then just um to finish off and get all eight i did the practitioner so i'm sure uh, i'm sure you really sweated in that one too i mean that was that's a real <laughs> that's a real tough one yeah i mean after all the other seven um <laughs> i did absolutely no studying for that and when i did the exam i mean you know i, I this would be just like anyone else who did them in the same order, order i did mm -hmm. i did the exam and the uh, the guy who set the exam up for me and started the exam off for me, um, you know, said, there you go, away you go. And then I walked back in about 15 minutes later and he said, 
have you got a problem with it? Or... <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, again, having all those seven behind me, it, it only took about 15 minutes right. to do I that mean, one. Yeah, so... super simple exam. Uh, well, for somebody, oh, for somebody that's, that. that's already studied for and passed all the other ones, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Talk about kind of your process when you would sit down to actually study for an exam. Uh, you know, what, what did you do? What was, what was your thought process and what was your execution to from, Hey, I want to take this exam to now you're sitting in the, in the exam room. Um, yeah, so I'll generally start off with um, one of the courses like the Linux Academy course or one of your competitors course. And quite often I'll, I'll uh, compliment, you know, or use, use mm -hmm. two. Um, just to get a different, a little bit of a different perspective, but the, you know, the Linux Academy courses, I have to say are, are very good. Um, and then, um, you know, and generally speaking, that's not really enough and it's certainly not really enough to, um, kind of have confidence in a, you know, from a real world perspective. Mm -hmm. So generally what I do is, you know, I'll do your course and then I'll supplement it with a load of hands-on work. Um, and then of course, just like a lot of other people, I read a, a, a ton of, uh, you know, uh, white papers sure. that reinvent videos and, uh, you know, just trying to, trying to uh, approach it from all angles, really, not just one angle. Yeah, no, I think yeah. I think it's important to do all those ancillary things as well, especially the white papers, uh, reinvent videos could be really important uh, to help kind of flush out the knowledge. And I find that it also helps to just really reinforce, even though we may cover it in our course, right, yeah. kind of going through it once, but then reading it again in the white papers. I know that's what I did when I was preparing um, for my exams. I went through the courses and then. I read the white papers after because if I read the white papers first, I think I wish would have kind of been lost, right? But we could, yeah, yeah. the courses first, I got all of those concepts in my head uh, once, and then reading the white papers really helped to reinforce and solidify, you know, what I learned in the courses and kind of, you know, kind of double up on the learning. So I find I found that really valuable as well. Yeah, I was just going to say that um, it's not that you know, as you, as you kind of alluded to. It's not that there's anything missing in the courses. It's just getting a different perspective mm -hmm. on it. And, uh, you know, that helps to solidify it. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what would you say was kind of your your prep time? Um, so you said that you, you did all the all the exams in a, about a little over a year. Um, mm -hmm. Generally, you know, how long was your prep time for any particular um, exam? And what, was there kind of faster exams in terms of prep time than, than others? Yeah, there definitely was a, a, a big variance. Um, I think the um, the Solutions Architect Professional mm -hmm. uh, took a couple of months. Um, and then so I did the Associate, Solutions Architect Associate first. The Professional took a little bit longer to prepare for. Definitely, that's much more in-depth. Um, you've got to really know your stuff for that one, I think. Um, then I did the SysOps Associate and the Developer really quickly off mm -hmm. the back of that um so not a not a huge amount of prep time required for that um and then there was a bit of gap for the devops professional so that took definitely a bit more study time um and then similarly the big data professional so i do, I, I already knew quite a lot about um, certainly the hadoop aspect of the aws big data specialty exam because i'm also Horton Works uh, certified, so mm -hmm. I'd prepared for that exam. Um, but they, they certainly required uh, more study. Um, and then I finished off, you know, I did the advanced networking in, you know, in a couple of weeks, actually. So I, you know, way back when I was, uh, you know, I'd, I've got a background in networking. Mm -hmm. So I was able to do that one very quickly. And then, of course, uh, the practitioner was extremely right. fast. So. <laughs> right, no prep for that. Just 15 minutes from now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But only because I'd done the other ones first, of course. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. So talk to me a little bit about, like, you know, how do, how do you mentally prepare when you actually go in to sit for the exam? And then what was kind of the experience like sitting there at the computer, you know, kind of plugging away on the questions? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it's pretty much identical to the U.S. So, yeah, two forms of ID, put all your stuff into a locker. Um I mean, yeah, and and then obviously it's it's multiple choice questions. Um, but I've I've got to say that the AWS ones, um, particularly the professional and the specialty level ones, are quite tricky. That you know, unlike some of the other vendor exams I've done in the past, um, AWS is quite good at really delving into your knowledge in terms of 
they'll quite often have a, a you know uh you know maybe one question where you know it's it's clearly incorrect one or two um and then they'll have at least two which are superficially correct um so if you only have a superficial or even an in, you know a, a medium level of knowledge in that particular area um you might find it difficult to distinguish between the two or three superficially correct answers um, and, and working out which one is the really correct answer. So, you know, then, you know, they're really digging down in your knowledge and uh, uh, seeing if you really know uh, that particular area of uh, of knowledge. So which which are the exam? Which exam would you say was the hardest out of the out of the eight? Ooh, um, out of the eight. I, I think it was um, three were harder than all of the others for me. Mm -hmm. And I think it varies uh you know, person to person. Sure. But for me, the solutions architect professional was pretty tough. Um, the DevOps professional was pretty tough, but maybe slightly easier this, than the solutions architect professional. And the big data um, specialty one um, was pretty tough as well. Um, so picking one of those, mm, maybe solutions architect professional. I don't know. What what tips do you have? Like, if you just have some tips, uh, you know, throughout your for at any point of the process, any tips you'd want to share yep. with our student base here uh, to help give them some guidance or suggestions? Yeah, I definitely say, um, you know, I mentioned it before, but the Linux Academy courses are, are very strong. I think, um, and I think one great. Uh, aspect of the Linux Academy courses is the hands-on aspect. Mm -hmm. And I know that's, uh, you know, something you guys emphasize across your entire range of courses is the hands-on aspect. So you can really, you know, again, solidify some of the concepts um, in your mind by doing those labs. Um, and then, you know, if, if, if uh, students get the chance, I would definitely, I mean, there's no reason not to open a AWS account um and take advantage of you know the free tier yeah um and really get some hands on you know and then reading white white papers watching reinvent videos so you know again just trying to kind of come at come at it from a lot of different angles it, it will at least that was the way i approached it that's awesome that's awesome appreciate the the tips um so now how has um, I guess passing the certifications, right? Learning all of this AWS uh, knowledge, hands-on experience. Like, how has that transition into your your work career or personal projects that you work on? Kind of, how do you use AWS in, in a work or in a personal level? Yeah, I mean, actually, I've I've got to say that just the way I approached the exams, you know, kind of, you know, coming at it from all angles, lots of hands-on. Um, it's trans it's translated uh, pretty well, actually. So. When I've done other vendors' exams in the past, it has been, you know, the way I've approached them in certain cases is not to have that more holistic method of preparing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's a bit of a gulf between my exam preparation and then the real world. So, you know, I might, you know, you know that there could be some differences that I don't know about. But because of the ways that I prepared for the AWS exams, um, you know, the application of the knowledge that I've learned in the exam preparation process has been has been pretty uh, easy, actually. I've been surprised because I expected that kind of gulf, you know, mm -hmm. when I learned something new and I expected a gulf. But because I emphasized the hands on actually doing it was, uh, you know, um, I mean, I'd done some before I started preparing for the exams, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty easy transition. All right. Um... I think that basically wraps it up for uh, the interview here. That's all the questions that I have for you. Um, so again, Mark, thanks so much for joining us here in our Linux Academy and cloudassessments.com uh, student interview. Uh, really appreciate your, your thoughts, your feedback, your insight into the process of passing all eight certifications. And again, congratulations on doing that. That is uh, a real accomplishment. Thanks a lot, Tom. It's been a pleasure. Great. And uh, to all our students watching, again, thank you for coming and checking us out. And we will see you all later.